uh, I think the managing of society would be fairly simple in the absence of ideology. But we're addicted to ideology because somewhere along the line we've gotten the idea that you can't understand the world without an ideology, when in fact and ideologies are incredible impediments. No more bosses. Well, I suppose it, it, I, as long as we are disparate entities, there will be hierarchies of control. That seems obvious. But it seems as though we are playing with the idea that we may not be disparate entities, or that we may be only provisionally disparate entities. You know, we're, we are a, a peculiar creature, somewhat, and we human beings, as a, a mass phenomenon, we're somewhat like a slime mold. Uh, we have a life cycle where part of our life cycle we appear to be completely uh, separate individuals. But apparently, in our, uh, if you view our development over the past few centuries, we're entering into some aggregation phase triggered by pheromones spread through technology. And we are beginning to create some kind of a superorganism. And the fear of some people is that once inside this superorganism, we will be forced into a permanent sub uh, status as a sublevel of the hierarchy. In other words, you will have to give up your individuality and you will just become a kind of liver cell or brain cell or something in this organism. But I don't think this is the case. I think we have the unique ability to combine these two modes of existence. This is why we have this notion of society and the private reality of the individual. Uh, and probably in the domain of, of uh, society, there will always be forms of, I don't want to say control, but, but management of the distribution of commodities. But the idea, I think, is to empower this other dimension to spend as much time as possible in the individual free-swimming, free-agent mode. In other words, not to see membership in society as a goal and a, and a value to be conserved, but to see it as a necessary evil. You know, we, we need social organization, but in minimal dose. And when we go on a bender of addiction to social norm normative behaviors, then you get a psychic epidemic like National Socialism, where people voluntarily, voluntarily abandon their individuality to act in concert with some kind of mass impulse. This is extremely evolutionarily retrograde. Uh, it's not what we want to do. So uh, I, I'm, I guess what I'm pleading for is an enlightened and uh, an enlightened form of alienation, and not simply an emotionally driven alienation, but a strategically driven alienation. So alienation can be used not to create neurosis, but to attain freedom. Mm -hmm creative alienation, alienation that embraces itself as the source of inspiration. Nobody ever said it was going to be comfortable to be a human being and to ride one of these bipedal bodies from the cradle to the grave. I mean, it's an uncomfortable, but I maintain manageable situation, but you have to have the lights on. You have to have your emotional responses in order, your intellectual responses in order. You have to have garnered some sense of how we got to this situation. And you have to have some sense of the tools available 
to transform it. 